For many people, after their own family, there's nothing more important than their church family. But for some in one large denomination, this has been a year of seeing those church families break apart. It's Sunday morning at an event center on Canal Road in Orange Beach. Good morning. Good morning. Good, to see you. Good to see you. On this day, about three dozen people are here to worship. Just two months ago, they were members of the Gulf Shores and Orange Beach United Methodist Churches. But the United Methodist Church is going through a most difficult time. That has been the hardest thing, to watch the church being torn apart over an opinion about one thing. Just before the pandemic, the United Methodist Church voted to affirm its stance against same-sex marriage and gay clergy. It made it more traditional and more punitive when it came to the issue of human sexuality. When the United Methodist Church decided to enforce its ban on same-sex marriage and gay clergy, it set up a system to allow congregations that didn't agree with that to disaffiliate. And the thought was that would be mostly churches on the left, more liberal churches. But what's been happening throughout the South is that it's been the more conservative congregations that are deciding to disaffiliate. Those churches concerned that the United Methodist Church won't enforce its rules and will ultimately drift to the left. There are many, many pastors and church leaders that are very concerned about the direction of the United Methodist Church. Lester Spencer is pastor at St. James, a large church in Montgomery that disaffiliated and joined the new conservative Global Methodist Church. And he's an area spokesperson for the new denomination. We believe we have a book of discipline in the United Methodist Church and we believe that it is based on the scriptures and, and we support the current book of discipline. But we uh, know that there are many that are trying to change the book of discipline and, uh, and therefore, many of them are trying to change the definition of marriage and, and what we believe uh, uh, historically about human sexuality. Congregations have until the end of the year to leave and retain ownership of its church buildings and property. Spencer predicts more than half of the 480 churches in South Alabama and Northwest Florida will do so. I vote in my conscience. Alan McElroy is a member of the Orange Beach Church that decided to disaffiliate. I feel church good here. about the people here and the Christianity. I do not want anybody telling me how I've got to go. For now, Orange Beach is independent. Gulf Shores, though, disaffiliated and decided to join the new, more conservative Global Methodist Church. It's heart-wrenching. That's about the only way I can put it. Deborah Bishop is the United Methodist Church superintendent for Lower Alabama. She says for many churches and members, the process has been like a painful divorce. And these are the people who have walked with you when a child has died or have served meals when your spouse died, have visited you in the hospital, have sent you cards and they've cared for you. And now because of this, you, you can't be there anymore. Oh, it was hard. Esther Jackson was a member at Orange Beach for more than 20 years. She found there were many there like her and at Gulf Shores who wanted to remain United Methodists. They were heartbroken. They felt like they didn't have a home. And I thought, well, that can't happen in Orange Beach. There are just so many things that the United Methodist Church does and has done for such a long time and does so well that I just felt like that's where I needed to be. So Dowdy. Thank you. Please be seated. Jackson and these other former Orange Beach and Gulf Shores church members now worship together as United Methodists in this hall, hopeful for the future. And all involved in this painful process say they harbor no ill will toward their former church members. We love our friends. There's no animosity. Regardless of which, which group you may be a part of, I think both have as their goal to be the body of Christ here in this area. Churches that have disaffiliated already will be officially announced in May and many more congregations could break away by the end of the year deadline.